Hey everybody, Nick here from Decrypticat, where we focus on DeFi and all other types of crypto passive income sources. Hope you're having a great day because uh, Animal Farm isn't live yet. But that's not why you should have be, have, be having a great day. You should be having a great day because Forex just dropped kind of a bomb. If you guys weren't in the voice chat, I'm here to uh, give you the news because that's my job. Well, yeah. So why we're here uh the animal farm did not did not launch on the 18th as you guys know there was some issues with the drip liberation contract uh being hosted on bb's cloudflare account and they were uh, kind of locked out and plus there was an external service dependency that they had to fix but uh that wasn't the main reason well that was the initial reason why there is a pause but now there's a little bit longer of a pause because of what i'm about to go into so it, it's this is apparently a change that's been on his mind for several months i guess it was um why it's coming out now is kind of convenient i guess or inconvenient i don't know but anyway uh he didn't make the change earlier because i guess he was trying to figure out how to resolve a certain issue which i'll get into in a second uh he had something he wanted to do but he didn't have quite all the pieces figured out and, and apparently he didn't figure out that last piece until uh, just before the animal farm was due to be relaunched on the 18th. So once that delay happened because of the uh, drip liberation contract and other things, he decided, well, since we're going to be delayed a couple days, I'm going to go ahead and do this and it'll be, the, it'll be for the better for the animal farm and for drip. So. <clears throat> Uh, the changes are already done. He already did the changes. They're just in the final stages of testing now. And um, and then we're going to be live next week. So now you're asking, what is this change, Nick? What is, what is going on? So here's what's going to happen. The only thing that's changing is that the Drip BSD pool is no longer going to earn pigs. It is now going to earn dogs. And now this makes it so that all of the non-native asset farms and pools will earn dogs and only dogs can be used to earn pigs. So the problem with people using this pool to earn pigs was it doesn't incentivize using dogs, which is a major part of the whole ecosystem. And um, <clears throat> without that being there, pigs were a little bit too easy to earn and it increased the sell pressure for pigs. Uh, and also, this, also by doing this, it doesn't you know, it doesn't help the whole ecosystem work. It kind of is a side side uh, shortcut to be able to get pigs and, and sell them or to get them into the pig pen. But he noticed that a lot of people weren't putting them in the pig pen. They were just simply selling them. So he wanted to make it a little bit harder to earn pigs. And he wanted to make sure that dogs were really being the key source of those pigs so that you either have to buy the pigs on the market or you have to use your dogs to earn your pigs. So the drip BSD uh, farm is being changed to earn dogs, and the the um, the the farm fees, which were one percent in and one percent out, are being increased to one percent in and two percent out. In addition to that, they are now taking part of the BUSD. I think he said something about thirty percent. Um, he's taking part of the BUSD that's being earned from this uh, from these uh, this farms fees, the 1% and 2%. And he's now taking that part of the BUSD, which was assigned to be used for platform fees and marketing, but it now is going to be buying drip and sending it directly to the tax vault. So I believe that was already being done um, with the drip that was being accumulated from the fees, but not the BUSD. I could be wrong there. Feel free to correct me. But uh, in any case, what's being done now is we have a little bit higher fee, which means we have more um, fees going into buying drip and sending them directly to the tax vault. This is huge for drip because uh, any addition that we, any drip that we can take off the market and put it into the tax vault is good for the price of drip. The, the more that we have staked in the tax vault, the less that drip that the drip contract has to print to pay everybody out their 1%. And uh, and that helps increase the, the price floor, right? So if you recall back in the days of Manor Farm, when that launched, 
the tax vault was was growing like crazy and the drip price you know went on a 3x so this this is uh this is what's changing and he he said that the the piece that was missing that he couldn't figure out was he knew he wanted to change this farm to be dogs but he he couldn't figure out the last piece of of how to make it work because he knew that doing that would reduce the value of drip so by increasing the uh the fee and i i should have put this along next to the fee thing what else is changing is it's going to get the highest multiplier of all of the farms so this is going to make it the most attractive farm of all of these that are available um so people are going to be more drawn to it and that's going to add in, you know that much more uh, attention or value to having drip so the multiplier is now going to be the highest making it the most attractive on the farm and then the fees are going from one percent in and out to one percent in and two percent out so this really is where the value of drip comes in um, just you know having the highest multiplier uh, of the whole farm and increasing the drips and having that BUSD will go and buy drip and and um, put it in the tax vault is just could be massive for drip and as an example of how it could be massive for drip he uh, he being Forex said made a link to to hex and he knows that there's a lot of hex people that are in drip so I think this was a good comparison to make I personally have no experience with hex so it didn't connect with me because I don't I didn't quite understand how hex you know went 100,000 X or whatever it was but he said that uh, this is gonna be similar to how Richard Hart in hex put his own liquidity I guess he had like 90 some percent of all the liquidity of hex he put his own liquidity into the pool to help boost the price and make up for the big sells um, but the problem with that is once Richard Hart's liquidity is gone, it's just gone and it's a fully centralized thing. It all revolves around him and his liquidity. So the, the benefit of, of doing it here is this is now a fully decentralized system and, uh, and it's a, it's a system that can go on for years and years because it's, it, it all works together, right? All the, all the fees from the farms and the dogs and the pigs all work together and it helps it sustain itself plus we have all the re rehypothecation re back on the pancake swap side that are helping us earn additional yields so this is massive news for drip it's also good news for the animal farm i think it's a it was a good move to make the timing of it was um interesting but it is what it is so here's what's going to happen <clears throat> We are, uh, he said the changes are already done. They're in final testing now. They're also spending the extra money to have their auditors go back through everything, even though it was a super minor change on the code side. The auditors are going back through everything and they're gonna have that done this weekend. What he's gonna do this weekend is post, I assume on the Animal Farm Chat or on his Fork Short Calls, he's gonna post a link for a test net, which is gonna be the new, the latest version of the code for the Animal Farm going to be available on a new URL that we'll all be able to go to and check everything out. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to execute any like test transactions or to what extent we'll be able to click around and actually do things, but we'll at least be able to see hopefully the APRs and, <clears throat> and you know, just have some confidence that everything is done and working so that, quote unquote, on Tuesday, we can have him... Uh, you know, press the button and things will go live and we'll all do a happy dance. So the, uh, the, the relaunch is now set for next Tuesday, which is the 25th. <clears throat> and between that time, we'll be able to code. We will, we will be able to go to a test net site with all the new code and be able to check everything out to give us the confidence that everything is ready to go. So that's the update, guys. I um, I hope that's been helpful for you. I, I jotted a couple quick notes down and uh, <clears throat> wanted to go immediately to video because I have to literally close this video, save it out to YouTube, and um, and get to packing the car because we have to travel like a thousand miles north to my uh, parents' place. We're going to spend the week with them, 
And unfortunately, my mom's in the hospital right now. So please uh, send out your prayers to her. I really appreciate it. Uh, we don't know what's going on yet, but um, she's having some blood work done and, and, and all that. So anyways, I don't know how active I'll be next week. Uh, if I'm not, I apologize, but I'll at least try to get some shorts out in some form of content. I will have my laptop with me, so maybe I'll be able to record a video once we go live on Tuesday. So anyways, I hope this has been helpful for you, helpful for you guys. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. But um, if it has been, don't forget to smash that like button and consider subscribing if you're not ready. And please throw some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this change, what you think about the timing of this change. It's, it's a little peculiar, but it is what it is. Uh, and please, if you have any questions about it, I would encourage you to, uh, first of all, go to Driptopian's um, channel and view his live stream. He live streams the voice chat with Forex on the Animal Farm channel. Um, so go back and play through Forex's speech a little bit and get all the lowdown because I know I didn't hit all the details. So go ahead and do that. And guys, if you have any questions, please come to my Telegram group. All the, uh, all the links for that will be down in the description below. And, uh, and I'll be able to help you out as much as I can when I'm online. So like I said, I'll be back, I'll be back um, around Halloween. And until then, my, my online availability will be in and out. But I'll try to help you guys out as much as I can. So uh, I hope this has been helpful for you. Don't forget to smash that like button. And until next time, don't forget that when you followed your crypto cat, passive can be massive. We will see you guys next time.